In our confirmation presentation, I want to first of all give you a the goals of our confirmation program and then go over some practical information. First of all, our goal is very much um, a part of the goal of the youth ministry in general, which is to bring teens closer to Christ and to his church. In confirmation, we want to take a three-step process in accomplishing that. And the first is conversion of heart. We want to aim to bring teens to a decision where they make a conscious decision to be a follower of Christ, to give their heart to him. The second is to um, take them from conversion of heart to be a radical disciple of Christ. That is, disciple means follower. And as a follower, it takes time to learn the ways of Christ. And so, although we don't have that much time, we want to walk with them and help them learn how to be a follower of Christ. But we not only want to teach them to be followers of Christ, but we recall that Christ himself after he called the, the apostles and after they followed him for three years, he sent them out. And that's what being an apostle is all about. It means to be sent. And so with the sacrament of confirmation and the gifts of the Holy Spirit that are strengthened within them, they are empowered to take the gospel into those unique places that only they can and to live out their baptismal vocation. So that's the, the goals of confirmation. So, getting down to the more practical information, um, we are going to have a one-day kickoff on Saturday, October 8th, and at uh, Camp Calvinwood in Port Orchard. It is going to begin with 9 a.m. Mass. After Mass, we will carpool to the camp, and uh, then that will we'll be there. Um, the teens may be picked up, uh, I believe, at 4.30. We'll probably arrive back at the parish at 5 o'clock. The details on that will be on the website. That is required. The reason we're doing this retreat at the beginning here is because in talking to the teens that were confirmed in years past, they said that they uh, didn't get to know some of the, the teens that were being confirmed with them until the end. And uh, so we're hoping that this retreat can be a good experience for them we are designing it to be fun. Uh, we will give them some, you know, some catechesis, of course, but we want them to come away from this wanting to come to the confirmation meetings, which will start the following week. So that begins on October 8th, and then the following week we'll begin meeting. The um, meeting times uh, will be on Sunday, and the specific meeting time will depend on how the registrations come in uh, as far as people putting which uh, time they're available and which their preferred time. And we will do what works best for most people. During these meetings, uh, we will these are the elements we will have. We will have small discipleship groups. Um, these discipleship groups that I described in the youth presentation aim towards getting them to, to have a conversion to Christ and to follow him. And uh, that, that, that will be towards the beginning. We'll also, throughout the program, have presentations on some of the topics of the faith to help review some of the most essential aspects of the Catholic faith. But these will be done in a, much of a, like a youth night format where there will be games, a theme, small groups, and media-enhanced presentations. Another aspect that will be new this year is having peer leaders. Um, that is those uh, Luigi seniors who have been confirmed already, and they want to help bring these uh, under the, the teens that are in the class below them uh, to have a, a radical conversion to Christ, to, to, um, to be his follower, to be his apostle. It's giving them a chance to live out their faith and be leaders, so they will be a part of uh, helping lead this program this year. So expectations are um, laid out in the confirmation packet, um, but one of the expectations is that they not only attend the, re the re opening kickoff retreat and the closing retreat and all the meetings, but that they also are enrolled in religious education. If they are in Catholic school, that counts. If they are, they are homeschooled and, involved and enrolled in an approved home education program, that counts. If they are going to parish religious education classes on Sunday morning, that counts. 
Now, we know that, that some may be coming to this without having been to religious education or Catholic school or home school, and uh, that, that with putting them in the parish religious education classes uh, would not be the best choice because the religious education classes are based on a four-year plan of giving a comprehensive um, view of the faith. And uh, when they, if they jump into it in the fall without having had that, those prior years of formation, um, it may not make sense to them, and it may be boring to them, and it may seem irrelevant to them. And so I wanted to provide an a, uh, opportunity to fulfill that religious education requirement for those who would like to get an overview of the faith. And I want to do that by, we're going to do that this year, by allowing them to fulfill the religious education requirement through taking the Bible timeline study. That study is going to be offered this fall on Wednesday nights. So I would highly encourage teens who haven't been to religious education to take that route. Or perhaps they would just like to do something different than the, the, the normal Sunday morning religious education classes. That study will also be offered all in one day on January 7th. So perhaps you live far away and it's too much for you to come on Wednesday night and on Sunday. Uh, we would encourage you then to do it as a one-day study on January 7th, and that would fulfill that religious education requirement. The reason why they, they have that religious education requirement is because the confirmation meetings themselves will be geared towards confirmation. And we, won't, we don't do a comprehensive review of the faith. It is assumed that they are learning that at home and that that is, being, uh, that is also happening in a, in a parish or a school setting where they are deepening their faith. And in fact, we all, as adults, are called to continually deepen our faith because if we're not deepening it, we're not growing. We're growing away from Christ and growing towards Him. So it's very important that they not only attend the meetings, but that they choose one of those options to have that religious education as well. I also, we will have a sponsor's orientation. We'll announce when that is scheduled. And uh, our closing retreat will be January 27th through 29th in Seabeck, and that'll be a two-night retreat. Our confirmation, we don't have the date yet from the Archdiocese, but it'll probably be in February, March of 2012. Uh, please look carefully over the packet and the document requirements there. And if you have any questions regarding confirmation, um, please feel free to contact me. And we look forward to take, taking this confirmation journey with your young people. Thank you, and may God bless.